You know, I was thinking about doing a video. I just didn't know if I could, you know, what to say or anything. But after hearing what some people have had to say, like one of my, one of the newest people I've subscribed to, which is Alpha Omega Sin, and another person I've subscribed to, and Next Gen Striker, and who I subscribed to, and you know, I'm I'm kind of surprised Joe, Angry Joe, hasn't you know said anything about this, but um, uh, essentially essentially um, essentially what we have going on ladies and gentlemen is you know, besides the whole oh, you know, the whole DLC crap being on the whole DLC being on the disc crap, you know. One of the things that some people have been complaining about One of the things some people have been complaining about, about is the fact that one of the DLC characters that's on the disc apparently has been shoved up the shitter, flushed twice, ice, crapped on multiple times more, flushed down a public, a dirty public restroom toilet, spit out, chewed, Ood, and the result of all that, from what I saw and from what many others have saw, is Mega Man of the past. That's right. Instead of smartening up and giving us the Mega Man that we all know, and instead of giving us the Mega Man that Archie Comics adapted for a comic book, and instead of giving us the Mega Man that every anime that's been brought over here to the States has been dubbed by which has been dubbed by the likes of Funmation, Forty Kids, and whoever else instead we get old school Mega Man you know it's uh, you know I, I, I think Alpha Omega Sin kinda said it best it's like you know everybody was complaining at the fact obviously that Mega Man was not in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and that Zero was. So what do they do? They say fine, you want you want Mega Man? Fine. Yeah, I'll give you Mega Man. Straight up your B.O. The truth is I'm happy we got some additional characters but besides the Street Fighter and Tekken characters. I'm happy we got Pac-Man. I'm happy we got a few uh, a duo team, I guess you could say, in these two little cat like creatures or whatever they are. But if you're going to freaking give us Mega Man, don't give us old school, give us the one we know. I mean, I understand, believe me, I understand from anything, from a fr by being a fan of a certain franchise, I understand probably better than anyone probably better than anyone that people want characters back to the way they were there is not a, I'll tell you be honest with you, there is not a day that goes by that fans that I will read some comments at various message boards and watch some videos on YouTube but fans will not come out and say hey we want the old Sonic design back. We want the old Sonic back. We want the classic Sonic. And yes, yeah, Sega gave him the classic Sonic in generations. And the classic 2D, you know, scrolling gameplay and everything. But sometimes they want it more than just one time. They want it on a constant basis. They want the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? They want it full time. So, for them to not, for them to get it in generations was great, but they wanted more so. 
You see, what I'm saying is that basically there might be some old school Mega Man fans out there that grew up with that Mega Man design on the cartridge and say, that's Mega Man. But then there are some nowadays that are more used to the Mega Man we've seen. Because we've seen that Mega Man on cartridges and covers since this, what, the NES day? Since what, two, three, four, maybe? Since the Mega Man X on Super and Nintendo? That's the one we've seen. But I guess because due to the fact that um, this is based. This is more adult-like, you know? I know that sounds like an excuse, but I guess this is more like a teen, teenage thing, and the Mega Man that obviously we see nowadays in cartridges and even in the adaption from Archie Comics is more kid-friendly. I guess they wanted to aim for a more adult Mega Man or something. I don't know. But to me, if you're going to do something like that, do it correctly. That's that's all I say. That's all I say. You know. You know that that that's like basically you know it's like basically saying okay, um, ever since let's say Sonic CD we've had Sonic. Of course it never was like this, but let's say if they had done it back then with Sonic CD and they put the green-eyed Sonic and everything, that'd be like us getting so used to him now, but still being used to the characters he hung around, he hangs around with, that if they brought in the old Sonic, it'd be like, you gotta be kidding me. Or let's say they revamped Mario and made Mario look younger, or they revamped Luigi and made him younger like he was in the live action film, but instead of using the younger Luigi or the younger Mario, they brought in an older version, it'd be like, you gotta be, that, it basically wouldn't be right. But in my honest opinion, my only thought process on this is they did it because Street Fighter and Tekken is mostly adults, adult-like characters, maybe with a few exceptions, and they wanted probably an older Mega Man to associate with that at, you know, as well. So that's the only thing I can think of. It's the only thing I can think of. So. Uh, comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll talk to you all later.